bundle just in time for spring. That is all coming up a little later in the show. But first, enter the enchanted land and love triangles and feuding fairy kingdoms and magic with a Midsummer Night's Dream, a ballet presented by the Valley Performing Arts Council. Here now, along with her dancers, is a founding member of the Arts Council. This is Yakuri Thiessen. I always, I always mess it up, but you've been here many times before. <laughs> yes. So tell us about this performance that's yes. coming up this weekend. Yes, this weekend we are presenting Shakespeare's Midsummer Night Dream, and uh, that's a part of the program. Oh, only. what's and, the other part? Uh, we have a bonus. <laughs> what's the bonus? <laughs> bonus is a mixed bill. Okay. And uh, this is the three contemporary pieces, uh -huh. and uh, which is a. Uh, Edgy. Oh, yes. this and is so, edgy. Yes. I love it. And so everybody can enjoy something they like. Okay. And if you love classical, Mendelssohn's beautiful music yeah. accompanies the ballet. Yes. And uh, I am just thrilled because uh, prior to public performance this coming Saturday, uh -huh. we have uh, four school outreach performances. Yes, this is what I was going to ask about. Yes. What is the outreach performance? Yes. And uh, we have been doing this l last uh, 30 years. Uh -huh. And uh, this is uh, to educate the very children through the classical performing arts. Yeah. And uh, especially the classical arts are very much missing from today's education. Yes. And the children do not even know who Shakespeare is. Sometimes no. And I, I did have to uh, do a little research about what A Midsummer Night's Dream was actually about. Yes. But I, I can say I am I'm reading a retelling of The Tempest uh -huh. right now. So I'm getting my education oh, a, little wonderful. Late, a little later in life. And, uh, Little so, children yeah. reading Shakespeare is Read great. Exactly. Okay, so the outreach performances, what, when are those? How do kids attend those? Yes, uh, we publicize this every uh -huh. year. And uh, uh, we have a certain morning time designated. Yes. And uh, this year we have uh, Thursday and Friday, okay. both mornings at uh, 9 to 10 a.m. No, 9 30, I'm sorry, 9 30 to 10 30 yes. a.m. We'll get then, the details <laughs> online. <laughs> uh, 10.50 to 11.50 a.m. Uh -huh. performances. And so who can go to these? How do they, how do yes, they attend these outreach they performances? They come as a unit, as okay. a school. So a school district can contact the Valley Performing Arts Council. Okay. And I'm quite certain we can squeeze some students. Yes, if you're not, if you are not uh, scheduled for a field trip, maybe you can contact the Valley Performing Arts Council and you can see some classical uh, dancing. Because that is true. That I I missed out on learning a lot about Shakespeare and I think this is a, a great way to learn about his stories and his literature yes. through arts. What is this performance like? The Midsummer Night's Dream part of it. Yes. This is uh, main character so professional dancers. Yes, from the State Street Ballet yes. in Santa Barbara. Yes, and uh, they are affiliated with us mm -hmm. and uh, then we add the children the students dancers right and uh, which company's name is the Fresno Ballet Theater. Right. And uh, they are all Fresno Ballet Theater members. Okay, so you guys are all here. You're gonna give us a, a little performance. And when she says we add children, yes, they are young, young ladies, but they're beautiful dancers. And so you're gonna give us a little taste of A Midsummer Night's Dream coming up this weekend where we will have all the details online. All right, ladies, take it away.
and they, the, the music in here is just like barely audible and they have a tiny, tiny little dance floor. So you guys were absolutely great. We will have all the information about a Midsummer Night's Dream ballet performance from the Valley Performing Arts Council. We'll have it all online. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, stay tuned because coming up next here on Central Valley Today, cheers to the luck of the Irish. Riley's Brew Pub is in the kitchen with some...